Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your boy LV, and I have a very special guest that you can already see. And we're going to be talking about how you can turn your content, all right, your content into dollars. That's what we're talking about today for coaches and consultants. Coming up next. <laughs> Yo, what up, what up, what up? This is the LVTV podcast where we talk all things content, uh, clients, cash flow for the profit and impact focus coaches and consultants. And we have, this is Nikki from Instagram, but you know her from every other platform. She's everywhere. Nikki, what's up? What's popping, people? How's everybody feeling? How are you feeling? How are Listen. you? I'm, I'm addressing the people that I can't see. I'm yeah. seeing and listening to you. How are you feeling? Listen, life is good, honestly. Like, if it gets better, I would probably be in another country with my feet in the sand and me trying to learn how to swim on my own. Well, it needs, it needs to be that way. It yeah. needs to be. That's the goal. That's yes. the goal now, people. Yeah. Let's make Swimming. it. Let's make sure he gets this goal because keep him accountable. You know Please I mean? do. Because I'm going to learn how to swim. All right. You don't know <laughs> how to swim? No. Like, oh. Nikki, and I'm going to tell you the funniest story. So, I spent time in radio. Hmm. And okay. I was I used to work with some young people um, like mentor and we were taking them to Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. If you're familiar with that mm -hmm. super beautiful area. Beaver had a house out there. It was just beautiful, beautiful. Okay. And it was like, yo, you need to learn how to swim because we're going to be around water like you're going to be on a peninsula. You need to learn yeah. how to swim because the kids yeah. need to make sure you're out. I'm like, man, come on, guys. We can learn how to swim. Let's do it. Right. So they take me to a local lake and I'm fast forwarding the story. I put on two life jackets up top mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. one on my legs. Like we like rigged it to where it can go around my waist. Put me on a surfboard and I still sunk. I oh. can and we broadcasted live <laughs> over the radio and they were like, yo, three lifeguards were there and we were yeah. not even in enough water for me to go like up here and I was sinking trying to float, right? So the funny part, the the whole like crescendo one mm -hmm. of the lifeguards, he was a principal. So he's an older dude, been teaching people how to swim. He's a teacher. He's been working with young people, all type of walks of life. And he says, Lev, I have to say, out of all my years of teaching, you're the best student ever. You tried everything I asked you to do, but you just can't swim. So we're going to mm -hmm. keep you on the beach while the kids are playing in the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All being broadcast to the entire county, listening to me learn how to, to swim and almost drown yikes well uh one day one day you will learn how to swim um but anyways this guy <laughs> she's like i don't even know where to go with this one because uh yeah, brother, brother, um, brother may drown what, brother may drown yeah what are we let's, what are let's we doing now what are we <laughs> doing? <laughs> so nikki i want to hear from you i love origin stories and yep. you know I, I want to hear from you. What was the moment and what was the place where the light bulb came off? You was like, yo, this is my lane. This content creation is, and even teaching it. What was yeah. the light bulb for you? So for those who don't know, I go live on Instagram, like 9 30, 10 PM, Monday through Friday, like every single week. Mm -hmm. Right. It, it, I have to be dying for it not to happen. <laughs> right. So in the very beginning, like the very first year, just understanding like what is my cadence on social media? I'm not a very structured person. I'm very spontaneous, right? So pre-recorded videos may not really work for me. I'm not, I'm not for that, right? So, and it's not like I'm out here taking a whole bunch of photos and everything like that, but I had to figure out a way, how can I be consistent with at least my experiences, how do I share that? And I went live and I probably had like four people on, right? But out of those four people, like two of them were engaging with me and like honestly going back and forth in a good way with what I was trying to teach, mm -hmm. right? What was I trying to say? And at that moment with just only four people, and of course, in and out. So for mm -hmm. anybody who's gone live, mm -hmm. you'll have maybe like three people and then they all go away and you have one person and then it's zero and then you have another one person. It's like the worst feeling, <laughs> but I'm be honest with you. It's yeah, the worst yeah, feeling. Yeah, that's but, I love it. Um, the fact that they were still engaging with me and like staying there, right? That one time I was like, this is it. Because I know if, in such a quick time 
that they stayed and they interacted, what can happen in a year? What can happen in a couple of years? How can I reuse these lives for, you know, extra content? So like I said earlier, I don't like pre-recorded, but if anybody was to go on my, my page, you would think I'm like this whole video queen kind of thing. But nine out of 10 times when you see the camera vibes, that comes from uh, a live, that comes from podcast that was live. Everything has that kind of live effect for me that I repurposed. So it was the very, like I started what, three, four years ago. So that very first year, um, probably in like the first month, Mm -hmm. Um, because like I said, you, we all go through that experience of like four people, zero, one, zero, zero, one, two. It's the most, it's, it gives you anxiety. It's horrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I love that. And, I, and I'm so glad you revealed that because so many people who are probably watching or going to listen to this at some point starting mm -hmm. out and I yeah. think they need to know that is normal. They see where you are today or at the time of, of recording this and they're like, man, like she started out like that for real. Like I would have, I, I would have thought she had a thousand people on her live. Like nah. this was Nikki, but no. But it, and it, that, and that's the thing, like also, cause some people would say that like, yo, I thought you would have way more because you would look at what other people are doing and how much numbers they have. And they don't talk about nothing. Mm -hmm. And so for those people who are actually talking about something, they're like, yo, I would think you would have this, that, and the third. And I still don't have necessarily the numbers that people believe I deserve. Mm -hmm. I say I have enough numbers to impact the people who really need it right now. So at the time, the way I was teaching mm -hmm. in that very first month, two people were ready to receive what I was giving. The, in the style that I was giving it. So meaning there was still room to grow. I haven't really perfected at the time to keep four people consistently on the live. Now I'm still growing to where, how do I keep uh, 70, 80 people on the live? And and so it's, it's, I look at it not necessarily like, oh man, no one's on. I'm like, yo, I still have a lot to learn to be able to, keep that person's attention regardless of what's happening and regardless of the notifications and distractions that they're having. So I, that I get it, but it's just like, yo, there it's more of a you thing than necessarily they're, they're not being on your live thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I love, I love it. I want to kind of stay, stay here because there's some value that we can extrapolate. So I want to highlight you about like for that person who's getting the, five or four people showing up to their yep. lives like how do you stick it out so i i did it for a year year and a half on my when i was mm -hmm. pushing coffee and i need to get yeah. back to pushing coffee but um I remember those days. yeah man those are fun those are so fun <laughs> um like how do you how do you keep motive how did you keep motivated like how did you keep it going though i mean because i would imagine you're like yo i got i make bread doing this is my bread here yeah and I'm just yeah. doing this because I like doing it. I don't have right. to do this. Let me just focus on the bread. Right. This the same the same thing. I don't have to do this. And mm. so I can try so many things I want to because I don't have to do it. It doesn't. Oh, you're gonna get me into a whole rant. So there's people on social media that have to use social media to make money. Mm -hmm. They have to do those particular things to get out. The what I do um, is so much of a behind the scenes thing that even from a front face value, people only think I just do the social media stuff for E and mm -hmm. probably head of media and everything like that. But there's a lot of other things that I take care of. Like uh, I'm part owner of a podcast network, you know, I'm, mm. uh, I'm part, uh, owner with Carl with Solo Creator Pro. Um, like there's a lot of things that um, I have my hands into. Plus, I have my own podcast. So, social media, when you don't make it to a stress level of I have to be on it, it takes that perfection out. It takes mm -hmm. that. I don't necessarily care who's on because I'm on it because I want to be on it. Mm. Right. I saw the, 
the benefits of it. And I understand me playing the long game is going to last longer than necessarily those people who grind in that moment and adds it out and does the, you know, the paid collaborations and things like that for that moment. That's cool. That's cool. My content's going to outlast y'all each and every single solitary time because I don't do it with a motive. I do it because I want to mm-hmm. and because the people really need it because others will do it the opposite way that they're not ready to receive. Mm-hmm. And so I'm here to cater to the audience that is ready to receive it in the matter that I give it. Yeah. Yeah. You give it in such a way that um, I think it's actionable. And people don't, and there's no resistance. Mm-hmm. So people don't think like, all right, I'm about to get on this live with Nikki. She going to sell me at the end. So as soon as she finishes up. Oh, don't get point, it twisted. There's still a call to action at the sure. end. Sure. But it's so, it's so in my vibe of staying within community. Yeah. But but I'm just saying, when I've watched her stuff, I never feel like I'm about to get sold. Oh, like, never. I have the anticipation of call to action because that's what it is, right? But I don't feel like you're you're like, all right, I done gave y'all all this free stuff. So uh where's them credit cards? Right. It's right, like, right, right. So let you me tell you card. about this thousand dollar program. Nah, right. it's oh, you I can't I can't me? do that. <laughs> you wanna work with Nikki? <laughs> but this is the thing. Shout out to those who do, because that yes. is definitely th- that is needed. Yes. And that is because their programs are needed. Their mm-hmm. content is needed. So there's definitely no shade. It's no. just not my style. Right. My style is more of a I got to make you feel warm and fuzzy and part of the family. And then you want to continue with the family in other ways. Sure. Never to feel, OK, I'm here as a follower and then I am a client. I'm more of a you're a follower and then you are a a like tribe family member. Cousin. And then with this, it gives you access that you would have to, you know, you would have to pay this or that. But at the end of the day, you never feel like you're being taken advantage. You still feel like your family. So that's more for me, my style of doing it that I know will convert more than and that's just analyzing the audience not the audience the industry you see and this is the biggest thing people don't do research Mm. so i see how people sell i see how people uh try to use their content to just be straight direct all the time and you're not telling a story you're not making a safe space for your followers that they will only come to you when they truly need you. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. So if I really need this product, if I really need this service and I happen to remember, cool, let me go check that. But at the end of the day, I want to be the type that you see every single day and you enjoy seeing every single day because you feel safe and not judge that when there is something you're like of course yeah let me get that this is this is easy yeah i I see you every day i i i react and you react back to me Mm. like you're you're saying thank you because i shared your stuff like of course what are we doing why why are you so shocked that you bought it that i bought it (laughs) i love it i love it i love it i love i think i like that style that you do from a one-on-one, like, like you said, right. Relational, um, mm-hmm. but also do, rep, uh, also love, you know, the puzzle of selling sometimes, you know, I, I like to sell as well. So I, I love both sides, but I think I, I'm in the middle for me personally. Right. Um, cause I do like to sell. I do like to have, see that moment where you are looking at me like, Ooh, should I give you my credit card or not? And I'm like, yeah, all right. Yeah. You know, from the uh, see, for me, maybe it's the only child in me. Like I get what I want. And so I only move when I know I can get what I want. Mm. So it's on some like, 
I will only do this. And and that's and this is for anything. Like yeah. I didn't leave my job until I knew this was safe, secure, boom, we're out. I'm not like, oh my God, follow your passion and jump. Go, go do this. Just try this product <laughs> and let it sell out. And if it doesn't, you failed forward. I'm not failing forward. <laughs> that's not my vibe. It's not my vibe. Okay, you are not going to tell me get failure on purpose. I'm not right, here. Right. I'm not for here for that. Now, I'm all for the lessons. Lessons are going to happen, but you're I'm there's not going to be one thing I do that is a hundred percent fail. Like that's not gonna it's never going to happen. It's not. So for me <laughs> so so for me to re, to put out uh a product or a service, it has been strategically planned <laughs> that you are like, I may need one day to process this, but that is only to shift some things in my bank account yeah. real quick and to at least tell my husband or wife that, hello, I'm about to get this. You want to do this with me? If yeah. not, you know, I'm going to take out of the savings. Maybe like I, I rather that kind of like, mm, Man, I, I know I can get this, but I got to ask him. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You got to get some, you gotta get some buy-in. Right, 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 right. I'm all, all for that. But trust me, I am not out here to analyze and fail, <laughs> it, like fail forward. I'm not here for that. That's, that's now, th this is a different thing. I do like the, the part of, like, let me put something out. Let me mm -hmm. see if you react to it. Let me retarget you because you reacted to mm -hmm. that. And then let me see if you bit to this. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, like I love that kind of journey of trying to like, boop, boop, boop. okay, you like that. You go. But um to just all right, I'm a I'ma make this course. Y'all gonna love it. Mm, zero ninety nine. What? Y'all y'all said y'all love me. Y'all said y'all no? Man, nope. There will be multiple lives. Hey, what do you want? You want audio? You want video? You want groups? You want that? I'm not playing dumb. I'm asking you directly. This is y'all making stuff up for no reason. <laughs> You're making content for no reason. And this People is don't weird. Even want that. Right, like you just drop this and then you're like, oh my God, it doesn't have any kind of likes or, or, or views or even clicks. Well, did you even ask them? Did you, did you just assume you knew your audience? I bet you, you don't know your audience like you think you know, because if you can't name more than two pain points, there's a problem. Don't give me basic stuff. It should be more internal stuff. Mm -hmm. Like for me, I know I deal with a lot of introverts, right? Mm -hmm. Introverts that don't necessarily, who have the same fear of failing or what other people may think of them but for whatever reason. And now that they have to be on social media, right? Mm -hmm. Now this is a whole different world. I come from a private vibe to now you want me to be out there to be in front of people I don't really necessarily know. And what if they don't like, there's a lot of doubt in them, mm. right? And they not really sure, hey, this looks like an extroverted world, mm -hmm. right? How do I fit into it? So I, I know my audience, mm. right? Mm. I know what is more of an internal problem, but a lot of people are trying to sell off of the external problem and you're not mm. really pinpointing on the internal problem and hence why you're not getting the money that you want from your content because you're only reaching the face value of things. Hence why you only care of face value of how many followers you have. I mean, some people call it a mic drop. I said mind blown. <laughs> like, it, I mean, that you said enough. Like, you you legit just said enough for people. Like, I need to get y'all lot. Like, you just told us to get our lives together, right? <laughs> so let's give some examples. Let's get to some. Okay. To, let's give to some a couple quick hitters, right? What are let's some examples? Let's let's three examples of content that converts. Okay. Um, storytelling content. So let's do this. Let's do a whole, uh, example, right? 
This is not an ad. This is not an ad. I repeat, he is not getting a bag, nor am I getting a bag, right? No, no, but so, it's love. Listen, but if you want to give him a bag, Rocket Book Fusion, don't worry about it. We can make this happen. So, uh, for my listeners, I am pulling up a notebook, right? Which looks like a regular spiral notebook, right? Um, but what we want to try to do is sell this notebook, right? Mm -hmm. How do you make something uh, emotionally think, feel, look different to the person compared to everybody else's notebook, right? Mm -hmm. So you would pretty much tell who is this for, right? Mm -hmm. Tell them the main difference of why this is needed, whether you're go green kind of vibe, this is not going to let you uh, waste trees, and it's, go, it's an erasable pen kind of vibe where everything that you write, you could erase it at the end of the day, not before you take a screenshot and you save it to Dropbox and all this great stuff, right? Mm -hmm. You list out the the things that it, it does, but not more on a stats vibe, more on a how it hits their life vibe mm. right mm. so you would talk to the person who always loses their notebooks and can't find uh their last notes and you would <laughs> lev is like me right <laughs> um me right you now. would you would show look it is as easy as every single time you're done with a page uh you know check which uh box you want to do it take a screenshot it automatically saves so if you was to lose it your notes are not gone anywhere mm. right for those people who um who you know d don't want to always buy a new notebook that mm. thing gets expensive after a while understanding that after the day you take a microfiber thing it is gone it is an all in one. So for those who want planners, task, scribble, like you want to show it in so many different ways where it's a student coming out. And why would the student, why would the nine to five need it? Why would the, the, the entrepreneur need it? Right. And showing them in different scenarios to where you, your audience would be like, oh, that's me. It's all about storytelling. Mm -hmm while still giving out the facts that is what's going to make people sell based off your content. Now that may have sounded long, but mm -hmm. I promise you when you start really figuring it out, each pain point is a, is a, is a story. Mm -hmm. Each audience, each type of audience is a story, right? Each solution is a story. So the fact that it's a small notebook, that's a solution. The mm -hmm. fact that it's erasable, it's a solution. The fact that uh, it's an all-in-one kind of vibe, that's a solution. The fact that it's a cloud-based uh, notebook, that's a solution. So each solution, each audience, each pain point deserves its own story. Once there is a story and I feel connected, like hence why we all love movies, sitcoms were connected to it mm -hmm. we will buy it because we want a further connection to the story so that's love one it. love it love it what about number two number two so number two is pretty much a show and tell Hello. literally going back to the notebook right right yo I've been working on this for a very long time. You see the notebook and now I'm looking at it like it's a normal notebook. Nah, it's not a normal. I got to show you because y'all not going to believe me what it really does, right? Okay. Because I'm the type that loses everything. But let me tell you, do you know how many ideas I have lost? <laughs> because first off, I lose all my notebooks. It makes no sense. Right. And then when it's full, I throw it somewhere. And once again, I don't know where I placed it. So now I can write all my ideas. I'm, I'm in love with my phone. My phone doesn't go nowhere. Right. It, hence why I've even stopped writing. But when you write something, it does something to the mind now. So now I'm getting back into writing. I'm taking, I'm showing you. So look, boom, I'm writing all this. Yeah. You see this. Let me get my microfiber. Boom. Right, and put help some me. water into it. Oh, me. okay, and it says help me because I dropped something. Right, I put the water in it, boom. Right, 
and I race it and all yeah. of it is gone. And that's just so suck because I did really need one of those notes. But <laughs> Oh, you started, I said, please tell me something. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now it's gone, you know, and what other notebook necessarily does that? So tomorrow, when you jump on my live, I'm going to show you this brand new notebook, all the colors that it has, all the pens that it has, because these pens are erasable pens. Mm. Like, th that's the thing. Like, you can't get your, it's not a regular smegular pen. <laughs> All right. This is the one you put some water and boom, it's gone. You could reuse it over and over again. So show and tell. Right. And sorry for my audio people. That was like, what in the world that yeah, just yeah. happened? You, you, you guys see this on YouTube. I really need you to see this on YouTube, but yeah, yeah. You, I hope you laughed. Right. <laughs> so. <laughs> so the thing is, we we totally believe what we see sometimes. Right. Not all the time, but. Mm -hmm. Nine out of 10 times we could hear it. We could see the promos, all that great stuff. But when we see it live in action, like a how to, mm -hmm. why do you think um, those, what is those oh, tasty videos? Mm -hmm. Those tasty videos do so well because it's more of like a, let me show and tell you how mm -hmm. to create this cake. Let me show and tell you how to do it. Now, nine out of 10 times, you're not going to be able to do it, but mm -hmm. you probably looked up the recipe. You yeah. probably bought the cookbook because yeah. I showed you how to do it. And now you're like, I can do it too. The mm -hmm. I can do it too is the vibe that you're trying to have with the uh, show and tell content. Love it. Lo man, listen, if y'all listening to this or watching this and you're not getting ready to implement anything she just said, you're missing the boat. And I want to even go a little bit deeper because when you started talking, what came to mind was that mm -hmm. you're marketing yourself or you're marketing the story based yep. on how people receive information. So the show mm -hmm. and tell would be for the visual, right? Yep. And, and then the audio joint can, can by, on itself, right? Could be for just straight up story there as yep. well as from point one. So I love how you can really look at this from how, how do I best give information and how does my audience mm -hmm. best respond to it uh, as well? So number three, number three, what you got? Number three is let the people talk for you, AKA mm -hmm. testimonials, right? Yes. So um, we don't believe you, <laughs> okay? We don't. You need Sorry. More yeah, facts. Now, I will say everybody doesn't believe you, right? Mm -hmm. You have your warm and your hot. Uh, mm -hmm. I will say more hot mm -hmm. uh, audience that is going to believe everything you say, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Cool. And when that drains out, now you have your warm audience that is like, I cool. I like I'm here with you, mm -hmm. but I still may need a little bit more and that little bit more is going to be people like yo i bought that notebook that nikki talked about right yeah i'm gonna tell you i've never wrote so many notes in my life and they're all stored and i can share that with my team in 2.3 seconds they mm -hmm. all connected with the dropbox mm -hmm. and they see all of it the second that i scan it is mm -hmm. crazy right i and I'm not, it's one notebook. I don't have 17 million notebooks no more. So this, this notebook that Nikki said, yo, I, I need everybody to get it. If you don't get it, I'll buy you one. So you, you can have it yeah, like yeah. having other people who are like them, right. Mm -hmm. Really helps. And hopefully, but sometimes depending on the brand that we have, we don't necessarily need it, but hopefully we have all types of genders and, and ethnicities that are talking about us, whether in written, whether in audio, whether in video, however your stuff is, right? But we need a variety of testimonials. So those people who process a little bit more, those people who need a bit more proof about our products or in our services, they see this type of content and it is a no brainer, even from a standpoint of just credibility, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Even from a standpoint of credibility, mm -hmm. you need to always have some type of proof or testimonials for whatever you're selling. And I promise you, those people who were warm, you just got them and the people were cold 
Come on. Get looking into it, right? They're going to look definitely more into it because now everybody's talking about it. And, and what they're going to do is go to the people who are talking about it, like, did she pay you to say that? And they're going to be like, nah, That's- like, I legit like it. Like, people do that back door, like, you know what I'm saying? Checking your credentials and you're like, yo, yeah. why would why would I pay somebody to lie <laughs> when I can save that's, my money and they can tell the truth? Like, why would you do it? But Jay Z said it best, man. Bishop Sean Carter, you know, we don't believe you. You need more people. <laughs> we need more people. You know what I'm saying? Rockefeller. Said. I'm with it. But no, I love it. I love it. So what one thing I want to end with, or two things, two things real quick. Mm-hmm. What is the biggest mistake that people need like today, right? On the day mm-hmm. of this recording, what mistake are you seeing coaches and consultants make that they can just like eliminate today and actually start seeing positive ROI? Um oh, okay. You're just saying one. one. Just I, I All would, right. like, one actual so, like, should they not should they clean up their Instagram bio? Or like, what is the no, that mistake that you see? Like, yo, you need to do this today. Like, when you get done listening to this, go do it. So I'm, I'm going to make it very simple. Mm-hmm. If you are a coach, show us that you're coaching people. Mm. If you are um, a speaker, show that you speak. If you are working with corporations, even though you may be Signing an NDA before somebody comes back to your your comments and say, no, nah, I got NDA. How do you do this? You show behind the scenes of mm-hmm. what you were doing. We have to see that you are about that life. And some people are just calling themselves coaches and consultants, and they're not showing that they're coaches mm-hmm. and consultants. They think quotes m- make that happen. And I don't, I don't know where they got that from. I don't, yeah. I don't. There's no, your content has to, your bio and your content has to match. If it doesn't, you're going to cause brand confusion. So if you're saying you are, and even from the simplest things, because you have common mistakes. I'm an author, CEO. I'm blah, blah, boss lady, blah, blah, blah. (laughs) Right? Okay, you are a CEO, where? Where am I seeing these things, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Author, where is your book? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I'm, I'm a future author. We'll take your future behind down. Um, so it just, you know, I, you have to, when you're writing something, you, and this is what their first impression is, mm-hmm. you have to prove that. You mm-hmm. have to show that you do this. And if you don't take it off, if you're not showing that you're coaching, take off that you're a coach. Mm-hmm. Say inspiring coach mm-hmm. somewhere and down the line. Yeah, yeah. If it, so, just prove that you are who you say you are. Man, like Nikki, that's why I know you people's like you officially family because I be saying this stuff to people and they get mad at me. They be like, I'm 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 rah 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 rah. I'm like, and guess what? Right. Nobody cares. Oh. I tell them straight, like, I'm, listen, I'm definitely not that guy to go back and forth yeah. with. Verbal jabs, I'm so with it, with it, right? Um, yeah. I love that smoke, okay? Not, I like barbecue smoke, too, but this smoke right, right, right. is my lane, only because I only want to help people, and I want to, like, yo, nobody cares that you're an author. Nobody cares that right. you're a coach. Like, people can care less about that, so I'm giving you the number one. Since we're there, my tip to you is, like, don't nobody care. Sorry. Thanks. And I'm not sorry. Jay Z and Nas. I'm like, I'm just on a Jay Z kick today. I need to listen to some Rockefeller or something. I don't know. So no, some look at the the day that this is recorded. It's been 25 years since Reasonable Doubt. Look at God. Look at it's just aligning things. You feel me? He like boop boop boop. I'm like, what? I, I love it. I love it, Nikki. So I, I appreciate that. Now, last thing, um, how can people get in contact with you? Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Those who may be listening and I don't know how in, in the space right. that we're in. I mean, I know our space is small and it's growing, yeah. but like, how do they not know you and how can they get in contact with you? What's the best route? So very easy. I am big on Instagram, right? Mm-hmm. Big, not literally following, but uh, I love that. I love Instagram. So at this is Nikki's N-I-C-K-Y with a S. You can follow me there. I have a podcast, Nikki and Moose, the podcast. It's a whole vibe. We talk about uh, breaking down the blueprints, (laughs) breaking down the 
branding and business blueprints of celebrities and influencers instead of going through their whole careers and praising them we're breaking it down for the common folk so we could do the same thing they, later on so that's nikki and moose the podcast and nikki and moose.com that's where i'm at all day it's all about the podcast for me you know what that's where i'm at i've transitioned to this point right we're just gonna go all in podcast and and take mm-hmm. and inform uh, instead of trying to do everything every piece of content eight million times a day we're just gonna do one like Facts. just there i mean you know and, and repurpose that thing till the wheels fall off i'm saying and we and we riding hondas okay we riding hondas See? hondas don't break down I- on the accord in my in my in my parking lot right now. I'm just saying, man, I'm proud of that. Civic boy, man, two door Listen, with the sunroof. I got I got the two door accord. You know what I mean? You out here winning. Your gas You're tank saying. is good, good. Well, Nikki, I appreciate Great. you coming on. <laughs> I appreciate, it. and you probably don't even drive low key. That and that's the funny thing. Knowing knowing what I know about you, you probably don't do a lot of driving. Right? Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore hey, no. hey, you definitely hold on real quick. This is me being selfish. I want to know this. Where did you work before you went full time into what you're doing now? I worked at a bank, IT. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I am learning two things about folks in our space who do what we do. A lot of people worked in banks. Yeah. And a lot of people were athletes. Yeah. I used to box. Really? I was uh, I was the only female that won in the Navy uh, championships. Are you serious? Against like the Marines and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Not many people know that. We but need I give to do you, that. you and Clarissa Shields. And the, oh no, that could be a bad mm-hmm. like Logan Paul and Mayweather. Mm-mm, no, she got that. I'm, well, no, I mean, I'm, I'm, it's I, a charity. Actually, I have her on my phone. Like, I have her. I have her phone number. So. um all respects to Clarissa Shields. I want no smoke with you, ma'am. Um, but when you need help with your social media and getting your <laughs> brand out there more, absolutely come holla at me. You already know what I do for E. You know what yeah. I mean? Let's do I'm, it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I, I'm going to set this uh, Logan Paul Mayweather slash. Yeah, no, nah, I'm good. Man, I promise. Um, no, charity ain't that deep for me. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. I promise, I promise you. Yeah. I you don't love the kids. You. Nigga, like, no, I love y'all that deep. I love y'all, but not nah. to take a part from Clarissa. Nah, I'm miss telling me. you. We, <laughs> she said, miss me, but I didn't know that. I didn't know boxing. I didn't know the Navy, and I did not know um, banking. So I love that. That that I'm, This research is paying off. So I appreciate it. With being said, guys, thank you so much for listening to the LVTV podcast. We try our best to give you what you need concerning content, clients, and cash flow. And if you found this at remotely like valuable, please do me a solid. This would do me a solid. I need you to go and follow Nikki if you're not doing it. If you are following her, this is what I want you to do. In her DM, say, I heard you on the LVTV podcast. Dope yes. stuff. That's all I want. I'm not even asking you to follow me. I'm not asking you to subscribe. You've already done that if you love it. But if this episode brought you any value, please show Nikki some love. I think she would greatly appreciate it. With that being said, you guys have a great day. Anything else you want to say, Nick? Nope. That's it. Boom. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba.